Hello, my name is Frederick Anefi and you are welcome to your Excel lessons for today. Today we want to look at how to sum filtered data in Excel using the subtotal formula. Assume you have a data and we just want to sum sales for August We're using a formula so we introduce a sum function. We, we open our parentheses, we select the range, then we close our parentheses. We have the sum for this. In that same range assuming then okay now we want to introduce a filter in this data so you can just go to filter and there's a filter and assuming that we just want to filter for sales for Kumase so we'll check only Kumase this is what we have you can see that still the sum is still the same we take into consideration all the data that is not that is even hidden or not filtered out here now let's look at the situation where we have the subtotal using a subtotal function so equal to subtotal so the subtotal will pop down with a lot of functions so you have the count the count a the max and the mean and we are interested in sum so sum is nine so we select nine comma then we select the range here we I think before we do that we need to clear the filter so we quickly clear the filter we have our normal data. So now we introduce our formula, the subtotal. So the subtotal have a lot of functions: the count, the county, the max, and the mean. We are interested in the sum. That's nine, comma. We select the range we want to sum. Close our parentheses, then enter. So you see that that will give us a total or still the sum. Now, as we want to filter out sales for only Kumasi, see what happens. You will see that the subtotal takes in consideration only the data that is visible after filtering out. But the ordinary sum we used takes into consideration the one which is visible and even the unfiltered one or the hidden ones. Note that there's another subtotal function in there where you are using the subtotal, and that one is 109. I think when you go down, you see the 109. Yes, the difference between that is that. With the 1091, it does not take into consideration hidden cells. It only takes into consideration the data that is only visible. But with the ones with the nine, it takes into consideration only the visible cells and also hidden cells. So in a situation where there are hidden cells within it, it will still sum it up. Take note of this and add it to your Excel knowledge. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.